has returned to Universal Studios Hollywood. That's just giving you a little sneak peek. Hey everyone, I am Steve Severs for Bionic Buzz. As you can tell, we are on the red carpet of Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Studios Hollywood. And I can't believe to tell you how excited I am. We're gonna be interviewing all the celebrities coming here. Now before we get started, please help us out. Give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And let's go see who we can talk to. So have you, did you go see the maze three years ago when it was here? Yeah, yeah, we went a couple of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was one of my favorite mazes back then. So. Yeah, that's well, what we heard. The, the, the fans liked it a lot. Yeah, what I liked about it was it was like walking through the movie. Absolutely. It was like recreating all of the ambiance and the presence of the cocoon room. And, and when Farmer Green was outside looking for Pooh Bear, I, I, it was like a surreal experience. Very nice. So what's the future hold for Killer Clowns? Anything coming up? Or? Well, you know, the, the video game is... Uh, is the next big thing coming out early next year? It's uh, it's a blast. You're in Crescent Cove. You can either play as a town person or a, a clown. It's you. It's a totally immersive experience. And the, you're in Crescent Cove at night. You know, trying to evade clowns or kill them. I don't know. It'd be really hard to pick. I think I might go with the clowns. Actually, you know, <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta go. Uh, I gotta get some some work because there's so much clown merchandising now. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to afford it. But it, it, it's amazing. You know, the, the the amount of interest now. Um, yeah. You know, people are coming. That they're, they're, they're taking the ball and running with it. And uh, it's just uh, it's just very gratifying to have touched so many people. And we have little kids. We had a two-year-old who's singing the Killer Clown song, really? and it was themed for his birthday. He was two years old, and oh, that man. that's that's really as a you know as as a creative artist, you know what? That's what you want to hear. You want to hear that the people that were inspired into the arts because of something that you've done. So that's the thrill of it. That's amazing. Well, keep up the amazing work, everyone. Thank you so much. Oh, you're so, hi, I'm Steve from Bionic Buzz. Uh, we're all about people's passion. Where'd your passion be a music composer kind of come from? Is there a score inspired or something that was just naturally for you as a child? Well, ever since I was a little kid, music has given me an experience that's irreplaceable by most anything. Uh, you call it spiritual. And I found myself saying, well, if I want to go on the rest of my life, what do I want to do? I want to create music that's going to create an experience for other people. So they can close their eyes, put on the headphones, and be taken somewhere for a, a, a bit of a time and bring joy to people. I love that. It's very simple. I ever heard there's a Killer Clowns video game now coming out. There it is. There, we're very, very excited about that. Um, that's coming out in the, we're doing beta testing. And um, I was composing the music the first half of this year from about January to uh, June, I was composing the music. I, I did six, 68 weeks to do the original movie and six months to do the video game. Wow. So it was very, very involved, very next level, and I was very happy to develop the music to another level that I think the fans will be really thrilled with. Very cool. I look forward to checking it out. Thank you so much. Thank you.